Some more time, I'm like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm surprised I even got you that. You rang it in, yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit shy at the end. I was like, does everyone stop talking? Yeah. <laughs> Quiet fell on the room, like, ooh. Uh, oh, God. Delightful to have Rhea Ripley, fresh off the best of rock impersonation you may or may never hear. Uh, <laughs> Back on TalkSport once again. The last time I was in America is the last time I saw you, which was nearly two years ago at the Royal Rumble. It was nearly two years ago I now? No, like, oh I mean, goodness. so much has changed since then. Some things don't change, though. You're a champ still. Still a champ, <laughs> mate. Just a different champ. <laughs> exactly. You just, you know, you're just mingling with championships at this point. I can't help myself. <laughs> I mean, the first thing I want to talk about, uh, as, as emotional as it might be, I saw the tweets yesterday mm -hmm. with our own, Britain's own, uh, Tegan Knox, Nixon, Null. Um, just open up on what she means to you, please, for us. And, and you know, and in the tweet, you said it yourself, like she sh saved your job on sometimes. Like, it, please elaborate for us. Um, so Tegan is someone that I hold very, very dear to my heart. Um, I know that I might have been a little bit harsh on social media after the whole injury in the Mae Young Classic, but that whole time that I was posting those, like I really did feel very bad because she did help me through a lot. Mm. Um, Tegan... <sighs> She doesn't understand how much I appreciate her and what she's done for me. But there was a time at the Performance Center where my name was on the list to get fired. Wow. And I had only been there for a year. I don't know why my name was on the list to get fired. I guess people just didn't like me. Nor I, do I, damn it. I know. <laughs> it is what it is. I changed their mind. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was on, I was on the chopping block and I had a PC live match in front of all our peers and it was against Tegan. Um, and one of the guys found out that I was on that list and he told her. He didn't tell me because he knew that I was going to freak out, but he told her. He's like, look. You got to make Rhea look good because this might be her last match here. Yeah. And that's exactly what she did. She went out there and we, even though it was in front of our peers and that's the most terrifying time to have a match. Of course. She made me look like an absolute star. She took everything of mine and just like made me look so incredible that it got my name taken off of the list. And that was just one of the times. The other time would be in the second Mae Young Classic where... I know it's unfortunate that she got injured and I really wish it didn't happen. But if that didn't happen, like she honestly, like even though it really does suck for her and like I said, I wish it didn't happen, of course. that skyrocketed my career because no one believed in me before then. But because that happened, I was forced to go into that match with EO and we pulled off such a fantastic match. People had to book me and they they knew that I was a rising star so she not only helped me on purpose but she helped me by accident as well and mm. I I love Tegan so much and I'm so upset that she's not here with me and I wish that we finally got to have another match on TV because it just never got to happen. It's like, and I remember speaking to you, I think it was the first Blackpool, right, to NXT UK TakeOver. And I think we touched on the subject of Tegan's knee then. And I could tell even then, obviously, you were so, like, upset about it. But, you know, you have to stay in character for keeping up appearances. Yes. Uh, but I, I guess in the private messages, it was like, oh, my God, Tegan. <laughs> yeah, I felt real bad. I actually, um, after it happened and after she got her first surgery, uh, her second one, sorry, because she already did her other knee. Yeah. But after she got the surgery, I took my dog over to her house because I knew that she loved dogs. <laughs> and I just let her play with my pup. <laughs> <laughs> Take solace in this wonderful pup. <laughs> yes. I was like, I'm sorry, pet my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that helped. I, yes. I, I'm sure it did. Yes. <laughs> uh, but here we are today, as we say, tag team champion. We're heading into Survivor Series Brooklyn tomorrow. Um, how's it been, like, you know, spreading your wings as a tag team champion? Because... For some performers, right, like I know it's all, you know, solo glory and all of this great stuff, but yeah. sometimes by partnering with people, you sort of learn stuff or, you know, you can flesh out your character because you can bounce off other people. And it's probably the first time in your career we've been able to see Rhea Ripley do this. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's crazy and trying to reel Straight her up. in is really, really difficult. <laughs> like, if, if I wasn't as much of a hard ass as I am I'm pretty sure she'd just be running laps <laughs> of the ring the entire time <laughs> but she's like legit crazy but she brings out a side of me that I don't think many people get to see and it's like definitely a happier side 
um, a more positive side and we're having fun. Mm. I'm having a lot of fun with Nikki and holding on to these women's tag team championships is insane because I didn't think at all that it would be with Nikki ASH. <laughs> but I'm really glad that it is. <laughs> yeah. It's one of them things though, because when you come out of a, a world title run like you did, sometimes it's kind of like, oh, you know, where's the next story? And you, yes. can, not, you can kind of get lost in the shuffle. So how did this come about more than it? Is it just one thing that was pitched to you? Is it Nikki? Is it you? Um, it sort of just happened. I don't even know. It just it just happened. Cause Looked at the sheet one day. Oh, <laughs> legit. Because like we had the um, the title match. I had the title match with Charlotte. I lost, and then Nikki cashed in, and then we had the fatal three way, and then I had we had the singles matches as well. The beat the clock challenges. Yeah. And I don't even like. I can't even remember the timeline. That's how like muddled up it was, <laughs> and it just. All of a sudden, we were just tagging on TV, and I was like, okay, um, you're small. I'm big. <laughs> I guess this works. Just come a little bit closer and let me throw you at these people. Let's see, yeah. let's see what we can do. <laughs> I like the observations. I mean, you're small, so. Um, I guess I can throw you. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, uh, if we look at the main roster run now, like it's kind of easy to forget almost that it really only started – what like a week or two before mania yeah. right so like we're not even like a year deep into it you obviously had the extended run in the nxt which is you know where it's you're meant to be the learning ground as it were in wwe to that style yeah what has been like the main differences for you now being on the main roster you know and now that we're traveling again of course coming out of the pandemic yeah. too um man i think the main difference is like <laughs> my stress levels <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can imagine i feel like i'm a lot more stressed a bit raw and it's just because there's so many more eyes on me and i didn't realize how many more eyes there were on raw than nxt mm. being in nxt i was having the absolute time of my life and i was like yes i made it like <laughs> this is incredible like everyone knows who i am and then i went to raw <laughs> And no one knew who I was. And I was, wow. like, I was like, oh gosh, well, not many people. <laughs> Some people just watch Raw and SmackDown and it took a long time to realize that. And I think that was very stressful for me too because I was going out there and there was no crowd. Mm. So I couldn't judge on whether they liked or hated me. I'm pretty sure they all hated me and I just thought they loved me, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> At least I know what, what their thoughts are now. <laughs> You're changing minds, yeah, Rhea, yeah. right? All the time. Like the wind, bro. Uh, I must say, you're looking in amazing shape right now. Thank I've you. seen the pictures you've been posting. I'm like, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And I remember when we spoke two years ago, you're like, you know, I'm just going to gradually get more and more tattoos. It looks like you've been going to work on yourself. <laughs> yes. Uh, how much more recent artwork have you had done? Um, I haven't had anything recently i mean the last ones that i got were these roman numerals it's mm -hmm. like my mom and dad's birthday cool um and then i got like these shark teeth on a rope i see these ones those, those were the last ones that i got um i'm in desperate need for more i i had this this like three weeks ago the the Ooh, yeah, um, looks fresh. the card and then that bit at the top, because you can see the rest of the tattoo has been there for like yeah. ages. Uh, I'm a poor man's Rhea Ripley, basically. That's <laughs> just, you know, trying to get my tattoo on. I love it. Tattoos <laughs> are the best. I'm so glad that I decided to just get them. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Sorry, answer. work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. No one said anything yet, have they? So no one complained. Just keep going.